What's up gamers? Hey once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Game of Rebirth DL channel. Today we're going to be giving rebirths to those gamers on 3.65. We're going to be doing the BHBL installation with a PSP demo on the PlayStation Vita former 3.65. So what do we need? We will need a PSP game, mini or demo. I will be using Pet Saddle Club demo. We're going to be downloading the PSV image tools and install it to our PC. I will be using Windows 64. We will also need QCMA. As for the installation, we're going to connect the PlayStation Vita using QCMA so that it can detect our AID. We're going to download some demos from the PlayStation Network and back them up to the PC. We're also going to be running PSV image tools and add an account manually. We're going to select easy installers, VHBL and install. We're also going to be selecting our created account. I'll be using Gamers Rebirth DL. We will patch the PSP game with VHBL and then we're going to transfer the patch game, the VHBL save data and emulators to the PlayStation Vita. So wait for the example, it's really important. Links will be in the description. Remember to check my Twitter guys, enjoy gamers. So a good source as always, Hack Informer came out with the news today. I was working on the video already, but of course I always follow them. They have the PSV image tool there, uh, the VHBL files. So they'll give you a little bit more information on how, what to do, but we have to give thanks to Silica and Pina. Really guys, he has made our lives way easier with this PSV image tools. So I'm gonna leave the link for his GitHub in the description so that you guys can download the PSV image tools. So as for my computer, I will be using the PSV image tools front end Windows 64. So we're going to download that file and then we're going to run it in our PC and install it. Okay, so after installing, we go to the PlayStation Vita. I want to show you guys really quick, get it out of the way, that I am on 3.65, official firmware for Sony. Okay, so now I already had VHBL installed and I already had the other demo, Loco Roco. So I'm just going to delete them so that we can start this whole process all over again. So I'm going to launch the PlayStation Network Store and then I'm going to search for demo. If some of you have seen my previous videos, you know this process. So I'm just recreating this process for those new gamers on 3.65 or maybe you were updated automatically to 3.65. So you can see the Demo Pit Saddle Club, it's available. So I'm going to download that. I'm also going to look for Loco Roco Midnight Carnival Demo. So I'm going to install that just in case if I need it in the future. Now after downloading those two demos and have them installed in our PlayStation Vita, which is pretty cool, we're going to connect our PlayStation Vita to the PC via USB. We're going to be using Content Manager. Remember to have QCMA installed already in your PC. So we launch Content Manager and then we're going to back up those games. So we're going to select PS Vita System to the PC and to go to Applications and then we're going to select under Applications PSP Other and then we're going to copy those two games to the PC. hit OK. Just give it a moment. It shouldn't take that long. 
So now we're going to launch our PSV image tools and then we're going to add our account. As you can see I'm adding the account name, which it can be whatever you want. I'm going to call the game Rebirth DL. Now I'm going to go to my documents, PS Vita, and you can either go to P Game or P Save Data, and then just get that ram random number and letters. Control C and then Control V. You can paste it, or you can write it all out. It's fine. Now you need to get that message saying that the account has been already registered you can see my account information is in there now we can close that window and then we're going to select easy installers now I just want to show you guys if you guys attempt to install ARC ARC has been patched on former 3.65 so it's really no point to installing ARC so now we're going to select BHBL you can see we have other apps that we can install so you guys can try those but for now we're going to select VHBL and then select install and we're going to select the profile which is mine is gamer reverse DL and then we're going to select pet saddle club demo and then we're going to patch it with VHBL you can see in the background your PC is going to do something it's pretty cool and then we're gonna get an alert saying VHBL backup created and now the icon could be the same as a base game so then that's all we need to do with uh, the PSV image tools so we go to our PS Vita folder and then under our save data you can see VHBL it was created by the tool which is pretty cool we have our two games now we already have the pet saddle club demo patched also remember to refresh your database I always do it twice just in case so then I'm just showing you guys that my demo has not been patched so we're going to transfer and launch content manager so we can copy that patched game from the from the PC so then we're going to select PC the PlayStation system we go to applications and then we go to PSP other and then we're going to select pet saddle club demo and we're going to copy directly to the PlayStation Vita this will overwrite the current game that we have and transfer our VHBL so we just give it a moment this is cool guys kind of exciting so then we go to the save data PSP other and then we are going to transfer the VHBL and then we're gonna copy we're gonna select when I copy this content I already had it but I'm just going to override it so there you have it ready let's check if our game converted into VHBL bingo guys we have VHBL installed this is awesome we move back to the PC now I have two folders with two emulators I'm going to be transferring Super Nintendo you can see I have my ROMs and my emulator included within the save data I'll go ahead and leave this uh, example emulator in my Twitter and also the save data files so just remember to check Twitter so now that I have my two save datas and my emulators with my ROMs included I'm going to go to my documents PS Vita P save data I'm going to select my profile 3.65 you can see I have my VHBL in there so I'm just going to copy this and transfer it to my save data so that I can copy it with my PlayStation Vita there you have it two emulators within the save data folder 
So just remember to refresh that database. It's really important. So we move back to the PlayStation Vita system. We're gonna launch Content Manager. I know it's a lot of going back and forth, but it's worth it. So now we go to the PC, the PlayStation Vita, Applications, and then we're gonna select Save Data, PSP Other, and there you have it. We have our Save Data information, Super Nintendo and Nintendo Nestor J. So we're going to go ahead and copy this information to our PlayStation Vita. Okay, so now we're done. Let's see if everything works. So we're going to launch our VHBL. Just give it a moment. It's gonna do some cool thing in the background. There you have it guys. Well, we got an error right there, but that's no problem. Just work a back end. So we're going to select L. So this will save time to not reinstalling the emulator. It will launch it directly from the save data. So we select Nintendo Nestor J. And then we're gonna select the emulator and Voila, it's working guys, look at that. Now to select a ROM, remember to select O, O, until you get all the way back to the save data. Select Nestor J, and then we're going to look for our ROMs. So I'm going to select Double Dragon 2. So look at that guys, it's working perfectly. I am excited for all those gamers on 3.65 this is awesome I'm just gonna beat up these two guys right now look at that pretty cool actually they're beating me up it's okay I'll just let them so now I'm going to try the other emulator let's see if that one works hopefully you guys are oh we got another error again uh, no problem, we got the back end, so we press L and then we select Super Nintendo SNEX SNES 9X TYL. Launch it, look at that, Mario's running. Awesome. This is amazing guys, this is exciting, pretty cool. I mean we cut down our time in half on not reinstalling those emulators. I mean if you get the error just go to the little two dots press O and press O again then O again we go to our save data we look go to Super Nintendo and then we select our emulator and we find our ROM so let's go ahead and launch a game to see if it works you guys probably know that it will so this is pretty cool guys, I mean if you guys, hopefully it worked for you, so let me know in the comments if it worked for you. Remember to check my Twitter, I strongly recommend it, this is pretty cool. So as always, I'll go ahead and leave links in the description. So guys, if it helped, hit like, subscribe, as always, Gamers Reverse, out.